Hello! <laughs> so, again. We're back again! Are you getting tired of her face yet? Because I am. No. <laughs> ah, totally kidding! Totally kidding. So, again, I'm here with Yasmin. Hey. And we just finished filming our favorite beauty products of all time with Dobby, the house cat instead of house elf. Um, and so he's adorable. He's my baby boy. Um, so today we're going to be filming now, um, my, my November favorites, but since she's here I'm making her film them with me, so they're being filmed a little early this month, it's like the day after Thanksgiving. So. <laughs> she doesn't have a whole lot, so I tried to like keep it fairly small, it didn't really work. Get down kitty cat, sorry. Um, so we're just gonna jump right in, um, I'm gonna start, do you, you have an else, uh, fall, or not fall, <laughs> November favorite, like, face product? Um, no. No. Okay, so... In my last favorites, um, I said the Smashbox foundation was my favorite, and it is. I absolutely love it. However, um, I've been using it in conjunction with all the products that came in the set, and I do think the Smashbox um, HD like photo finish uh, primer breaks me out because I notice when I wear it um, in consecutive days, like I start breaking out on my forehead, and then I stop kind of putting any products on my face, and then it goes away, and then I start using that one again, mm -hmm. and it starts breaking me out. So I think it's just the primer. I don't think it's the foundation. So this month I've been using, um, I got this and showed this in a haul. This is the Urban Decay Naked, um, Naked Skin Foundation. It is quite amazing. Um, I'm, ugh, terribly enough, I'm like right in between like the very lightest shade and the one up from that. So yeah. this is the lightest shade, and then I just kind of like neutral it out with a little bit of bronzer, um, and that's the best way to do it, rather than trying to like buy a darker shade and yeah. make And then my favorite concealer right now, this is, I got this for like $3. So this is a great concealer, y'all. I'm actually not wearing it today. I was wearing it earlier, and then I washed it off. Um, but this is from Rimmel. This is their Match Perfection. I actually quite like the applicator, though. I don't really like things that go directly onto your face. So it has this like brush applicator. I don't care for that, but I feel like I can like make sure my fingers are clean, put on my fingers, and then on directly onto my face. Although my face is probably cleaner because I probably just washed my face. Anywho, um, this is really good. This is in the lightest one. This is fair. So I'm going to say my favorite eyeshadow for this month, and this is kind of a cop-out yet again because it's totally a palette. It's gorgeous. And this is from my Urban Decay, this is my Urban Decay Naked 1 palette. And I say this is my favorite because this is the one that I've been doing all my Naked November looks with. Um, so clearly, Beautiful. because I've been filming tons of looks with it, and I'm wearing the colors today actually from very similar to my like Naked look number 3. Um, so I'm totally, this is my favorite one since I've been using it for all my videos and everything. This is mine. It's beautiful. Favorite. It's gorgeous. It really is. Um, lip products? Yes. Okay, I, I lied. I got one more to throw <laughs> in there. So these are my two favorite brushes right now. Um, I didn't really have a favorite blush, but I have favorite brushes to apply my blush. Mm -hmm. So this is the one that I love for doing um, like cream blushes. I've just been applying them to like the apples on my cheeks. And then using this fluffy angled um uh, brush to kind of buff it out and make it a little bit more natural because I feel like you can be kind of heavy-handed with your fingers and I'm a little bit of a doof and I tend to rub this finger into the blush and then use this finger to like buff it out and then I totally like get lost on which finger is which so I'm totally trying to like rub it out then with the finger that has all the product on it and I look like Bozo the Clown. Giggity. <laughs> And then um, my other brush, this is the one that I've been loving very much. Oh, sorry, this is um, the Sigma Large Angled Contour in F no F40 is the brush number, in case you were curious. Uh, this is from the Mini Bu Mrs. Bunny Collection. Um, this is the other one. This is the one I've been using for my powder blushes. And this is also from the Mrs. Bunny. This is the Duo Fiber F50. And it's great. I think Duo Fibers are awesome for powder blushes because I feel like you can get a concentrated look, but because they have such a light touch, they're really easy to like blend out too. So these are my two favorite brushes. See, I, I have so much, brushes. Teach so much to teach her. So much Okay, now we can go to lip products. I'll let you talk now. Yes. I was kidding with, joking with Billy earlier that like, I'm surprised that most of the stuff I've been showing is lip stuff because I don't usually wear like lipstick. And then the only two products she has now are lip products. Yeah. But one's, <laughs> one's double duty, so yeah. Um it's mine. Yes. <laughs> she stole it. I have one though. I'm pretty sure it's in my purse. Um but it's almost completely used. Um this is I mentioned it in the other video, but the Sephora lip and cheek stain. I like it more than the Ulta one. Um I just feel like the Ulta one like it it has a strong fruity smell and fruity flavor. 
but like I think it that one has a better color payoff. So there's there's good in both. Like the other one's more liquid, like it feel, it's just liquid. So a little bit you have to really like use just a tiny bit and blend it in. Whereas this you're gonna have to use a bit more of it because it's like a gel. So um, I don't think so. I think it's really liquidy. Really? Maybe it's just the one that's jelly to me. In. Oh. But I love the color more. It's more natural looking, it's more sheer. Yeah. Um I think it looks really, really pretty on cheeks and lips, so because, of course, anything that's double duty is... You'll be seeing that actually in an upcoming red lip tutorial. FYI. Um, and I've literally been going into every Sephora store I find just looking for this, and they're like, oh, I don't have it anymore. Um, so, online. yeah. Um, and this is the color... I always can't There's another find one, it. too. It's Pinot. This is the medium color. They're one. all beautiful colors. Yeah, they are. I have the Pinot, and I have the lightest one. I don't have the... Or, no, I have the darkest one. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I don't have the lightest one because I have so many other things that are like the light ones. Yeah. And I feel like for a stain, you don't really yes. need a light stain. And I feel like that one's buildable, too. It is. These are buildable, yes. Um, whereas the other one, I think, is a bit stronger of a color. But, oh, no. Uh, the Fancy Pants or whatever it's called? Yes. Fancy Nancy. Oh, that's it. <laughs> um, you're close. I... No, kitty face. Okay. Get down, kitty face. Sorry. <laughs> He's trying to jump up, like, right behind the tripod yeah. and knock everything over on my desk. Sorry. Um, I'm um, not using... This lip gloss I got because I don't usually get spark. I love sparkly things. I love them. But I don't usually get lip sparkly kitty cat. things. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Um, because I feel kitty like when the... <laughs> I don't you usually get... You can't get under the desk. Oh. No. Oh, he's stuck. My fat cat thinks he's a kitten and oh. he's not. And he's sitting on my chair. He's, already he's on my chair. Anyway. Um, but I don't usually get lip glosses with glitter in them because I feel like either they're stickier or you put them on and when the lip gloss fades, the glitter stays and that annoys me. Um, which you still get with this to some degree where I feel like I'm... I do like the Mary Kay ones because I have their like diamond, yeah, pink diamonds or whatever one. and it's really nice. This one's Fancy Nancy and it's a really pretty like pinky brownie nude kind of color. I like fancy pants better. Um, and I, I almost feel like it is a bit of a mood changer because I feel like it's lighter on but when I put it on my lips like turn rosier. I don't know if that's just psychological. But Probably. it's really, it smells kind of cute and fruity yeah. and it's a really pretty like natural color. They're not color. sticky either. I mean they are a little bit but they're not that bad. And it's tiny tiny little flecks of glitter because that's my yeah. other thing I don't like. I don't like the chunky kind of yeah. fake looking glitter. Yeah. So it's just enough that it like catches the light when you move and it's really pretty. And we're wow. kind of like two-year-olds when it comes to yes. glitter. Anything that sparkles. Shiny stuff. Mm -hmm. I love it. So, it's a good one. But. So my lip, um, mine's more of like a concept rather than really a specific product. And so that's why I have four things right here. Oh my word. Um, and it's just, I, all of November, except for in this video specifically, um, I've been wearing red lips. I'm absolutely in love. I wear them just about every day. You can ask her every day she's seen me. I've had so some pretty. sort of red lip on. Um, so the ones that I've really been using the most, um, this is a Taylor Swift inspired look because I absolutely adore her and she always has that gorgeous bright red like matte Ow. lip. And I love like the matte red. I don't really like that like shiny red because I feel like red is already bold. So to have like shiny red is like over the top. So I've been using, um, this is by CoverGirl. This is their Lip Perfection Liner in Passion. And I think Taylor Swift actually uses the one that is hot, um, but it's a little bit darker than this, and I like this one a little bit more. So this is the CoverGirl lipstick. I don't know what the actual, like, brand of lipstick, but it's the one that looks like this with a little color squ it's square. It has a little color on the bottom. And this is number 300, which is Flame. So I just run this all over my lips, put this right on top. And then to kind of go with that, these do get a little bit dry because they are quite matte. So I've been taking the Baby Lips, the red one. This is Cherry. It smells amazing, so I lick my lips all the time. I have that one. I know, but I, you just had to smell it because I love cherry. Um, but so I've been using this, and instead of like smearing it because it will smear this, I'll just kind of like dot yeah. it on and, and it keeps them hydrated. And then the other one I've been wearing a lot, um, I've actually been wearing two of these. This is the lighter of the two. Um, these are the, I'm not, I'm kind of finding a love-hate relationship with these right now. They're a new product. These are the Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Suede. I do like them. However, howsomever, as we would say, um... They're great because they go on nice, and again, they go on like really smooth and really creamy, and they feel amazing, and they dry really matte. Um, they do feel a little bit dry, so again, I use this over the top, but I feel like if you start doing anything, like if you're going to eat, or they almost like, it like collects in the creases of your lips, and it looks a little flaky. Um, mm -hmm. 
So I don't really like that about it. I don't know if there's a way to stop that. If you guys have had that same thing, maybe. I don't know. But I do like this. I mean, it's one of those things where I just kind of have to bring it with me. It's nice because it doesn't just wear off, but I feel like if I drink something or eat something, I kind of need to, like, wipe it off and reapply. Mm -hmm. But I yeah. remembered something when you were talking. Oh, yeah, go for it. Billy literally gave this to me two days ago. Two days ago. <laughs> um, it's the... It's gorgeous. Rimmel... Moisture. Oh, it has SPF. Yes. I did not know this until now. Yeah. Um, I like it more. <laughs> um, it's the Moisture Renew in Red Action. It's kind of this it's like gorgeous. berry red. Um, and at first I was like, oh, okay, the color looks like it's dark. It's scary. But it's a lip gloss, so it's it's still it's buildable. I think mm -hmm. that was the main thing that sold me is I put on like one coat and it was this like light kind of like berry color, mm -hmm. and then I put more and it was this red, like a pretty red, um, because I'm also obsessed with red lipstick, mm -hmm. but I have a couple problems in the sense that I have a big mouth. You just have everything's big on you. I have, I know, I have big I'm, eyes, I'm big just lips. picturing like this big like caricature. Yeah, you I a am little like, anime character or like something. It really is true. I have huge lips. Um, <laughs> so I'm always jealous when I see Gwen Stefani or Taylor Swift with red lipstick, mm -hmm. but I feel like it looks so much prettier on girls with more normal size lips. And so, like, Angelina Jolie, when she wears red lips, it's a lot of red. So I get that a lot. I've gotten comments from when I do wear red lipsticks, they're like, whoa, that's a lot of color. Um, so I tend to not wear it as often as I would yeah. like to. Um, and I tend to go for darker, barrier colors, because mm -hmm. I feel like if I wear a fire engine red, it yes. I look like a clown. Um, so this color I fell in love with. Like, the instant it's I tried gorgeous. it on, madly in love. Um, because, again, it's buildable. It's a right berry shade, so it looks... It, I don't know. It doesn't look as jarring as if I were to wear red lipstick. You should do two coats of your Sephora, oh. and then a layer of that is the absolute perfect, like, ruby Gorgeous. red lip. Gorgeous. So, That'll be in a tutorial coming up. Soon. I'm in love with it already. Um, so, yeah. Rimmel. I just like Rimmel products, period. Apparently, yeah. I'm a Rimmel junkie, and it's British. Go figure. <laughs> um, oh, we love Britain. But, yeah, so I really like Red Action. Yeah. Well, um, I always like to throw in something kind of random, and <laughs> I got this um, just a couple weeks ago, and I'm already completely in love with it, and it is the new <laughs> iPad Mini. Yes, I'm throwing this in here. I'm in love with this. I'm not like, oh my god, buy Apple products, they're totally the best thing ever, because they're not. But... Um, I do love this because I am going to be a student or a student nurse, and so already on here I have drug guides and med guides and things like that that I can already be studying, even though I'm not going to be in the program till next year, like mm -hmm. dosage calculations and things like that. It's also great because instead of carrying my laptop to class, because right now I'm in a class that is a hybrid, it's in class and online, so I can bring this with me, hook up to the Wi-Fi at school, and check the website as That's my cool. teacher's talking, and I don't have to bring my big laptop along with my textbooks and my workbook and, like, you know, my stethoscope yeah. and everything else that I have to have with me. So this is amazing. It's a great size. I feel like this is more of, like, the girl size iPad because it fits nice in my purse without... Right. That makes sense. Taking up a lot of space. And I figured, like, with the big iPad, like, I'm just going to bring my computer because it's, it's That's what thing. I've never understood. I mean, yeah. I am anti-Apple, but, like, so. they have good products. I just... It's a personal thing. But anyways... Yeah. This is, this is nice, though, because it has... Like it's it. a little bit bigger than a lot of the other the tablets out there. Um, How's but it for doing, like, a nook? Um, this same? is absolutely better. Because this has more mem more internal memory, though nooks are better because it has... She loves nooks. You can add an SD card and kind of make your own amount of space and storage. Um, this is great because it has a better processor, it has a better screen, it just has better RAM in it. Um, yeah. It's just all together, I mean, but that's what you're paying three times the price of a Nook right. for. If you, want a, if you want a good tablet, I mean, Go so I would say go for like a Google tablet, Google or Samsung. They really do have the better ones for the less expensive prices. But this is amazing. Like, if you want a good tablet, um, and I don't even think you need any more anything with like the 3G, the ones that are trying to get you connected to a cell phone network and pay like a $30 a month plan or something, don't do it. It's not worth it. Most places nowadays have Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. so, and I mean, you're not going to be playing with your tablet in the car anyway. I mean, that's the only time that I could imagine you needing like 3G service, because otherwise you're probably somewhere that has Wi-Fi. So you're going to get it for like $100 to $150 less, um, and you don't have to pay a monthly plan. If you get just the Wi-Fi one. That's my little tip. This is just Wi-Fi because I do have a cell phone that has internet on it. So if I'm driving, do not use your cell phones while driving. Never do this. Pull off safely onto the side of the road and then check what you need to. Which is what I do every time. Every time. You can totally tell by my serious voice here. That's what I always do. I never text while driving either. 
I'm anti-technology, so I can't pretend to have a thought on this, because I'm anti-e-reader. Whatever. So I was probably doing her hair earlier, and she picks it up, and she's like, I don't know how to use this. And I'm like, just type. And she totally had it, like, figured out in, like, two seconds. So even an Hi. idiot. Oh! Oh! It's idiot-proof. Nothing's foolproof to the well-trained fool. But... Do I have lipstick on me now? Probably. <laughs> But it's still it's still pretty cool. Like so yeah. I like the size. I think it's, it's a good size. It's not gin ginormous. So yeah, this is I great. Just... I love this. And I got the one in black because I think the white one just gets dirty. So I got the uh... one that's um, the black bevel be bevel whatever. Bevel. The, what are, that's a word. Yep. It's no bevel. I know is a word, but bezel. That's what it's called. A black bezel. What? Yeah, I think that's what they called it. Anywho, um, so it's the black and like slate instead of the white and silver because I like this one better. I think this just looks a little bit nicer. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Can't pretend to have a thought on it. That's what I have. That's all I got for you guys today. <laughs> hey, what's up? And okay.